In this video, I'm going to show you the most intimidating blitzing defense in Madden 22. And if you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. And it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. Now in this video, like I said, I'm going to be talking about the best blitzing defense in Madden 22, which is none other than the nickel triple. It's by far my favorite defense in this game because you can send so much pressure. Um, and at the same time, you have some creative coverage options and different things like that. Uh, but really, it starts and ends with how good the pressure really is uh, from this formation. Now I'm going to show you in this video a five-man blitzing concept that you can use against you know the meta offenses which is you know basically gun bunch gun bunch has been the best offense probably all year most competitive players would tell you that and it, it, it's a very very good offense okay um so what we're going to do with this is we're actually going to utilize the cover three as a base um as a base uh call and then we're going to set a couple of audibles for whatever we want to run into now if you want to grab my entire uh, nickel triple defensive guide I'm gonna put a link to my patreon in the description below by joining the patreon It's only ten dollars a month and you'll get access to all of my uh, Madden 22 ebooks. I've got 15 of them. You'll get access to all the updates of those uh, And then you'll get access to any of the other updates that we have in the patreon and any new guides that we release um, While your subscription is active. It's a month-to-month -month deal. Like I said, it's only ten dollars a month so if you want to uh, get all that content, like I said, just head on down to the description and click the link that I put down there. Um, but let's take a look here at the cover three. So what's cool about cover three is when you come out, you're going to get um, this alignment basically. Okay. Now, we don't necessarily have to come out in cover three to get this alignment, but what benefits us to do so is we're actually just going to show blitz and kind of move this guy a little bit, and then we're going to click off and press. And why we want to do this is because now it's going to lock everybody on the front here in place. And now we can kind of do what we want from a blitzing perspective. And today I'm just going to show you a simple five-man blitz. And we're just going to blitz this guy off the edge. We're going to QB contain. We just want to make sure this guy's on the contain. And typically if you just wiggle him a little bit, he'll be on the contain. And then what I like to do, and you could kind of do however you want to do it, but I like to go ahead and actually... Um, either put this guy in a curl flat or man him up on the running back and what you're going to notice is when we do that um, we have freedom to be able to use her over here you could put him you could play um, I really like to play cover two over here on this side so we're going to do that so we'll just change it into a cover two and then we'll man lock the back side so you see this is kind of what the coverage looks like once you're done okay and you could do this out of cover two as well if you wanted to just start in cover two um, but you just need to make sure that when you, you want to wiggle that guy before you do that, okay? Anyway, so this is the basics of the concept here. We're gonna have great contain on this. And then the other thing is you're gonna notice is we should get really good pressure. Um, we should get really good pressure off the left edge. If the guy sits there and, you know, for whatever, you know, sometimes that can happen. But again, you're just gonna show blitz. You're gonna wiggle this guy. And then you can audible to whatever you want. If you want to audible, if you don't, just press. And then ideally you're going to use her. Um, if you don't want to use her, like if you want to use this guy, then put this guy in a deep third. If you want to use her, um, you know, this guy, then this guy's in a deep third. So it doesn't really matter. And I like to blitz my user. Uh, but what you should see here is we get really good pressure. We're getting bumped into this guy for whatever reason. I'll show it to you one more time here uh, with no blocking. That's really good against... Um, you know any kind of block running back so let me put the running back on a wheel and there you go there's the pressure you see how fast that gets up on the quarterback too so it's a very very fast pressure now what's really cool about the pressure is um like i said so like with show blitz what that does is it just locks this guy down here so then it's a little bit less guesswork for us as far as how we want to how we want to do this but if they block a tight end, what's really nice about this blitz is oftentimes it's going to come in around the edge. Um, even if it doesn't come in, you're going to notice that you're going to get pretty good contain uh, for the most part. Obviously, if they um, if they audible out of this, then what's really cool, so let's say they audible. So let's say they audible. Let's just say they flip their bunch. Well, watch what all you have to do is this. Just slide this guy in. 
and then now look what look at the coverage you're fine and then you just bring that guy in a purple you could throw that guy in a deep third and then you could throw this back side guy in a curl flat and you're pretty much back to a cover three so you can adjust this fairly well and the pressure is even better on the other edge okay so the pressure works on both sides pretty well um, that's what's cool about this blitzing defense you don't really have to play the flip game if you don't want to play it right so if they flip okay then literally I mean you're fine you're fine you're still in a cover three um, and then you can now blitz this side and you'll be fine you know and then you're just kind of lurking here and as you can see the pressure sometimes it gets bumped up like that in practice mode I'm telling you in regs or in mutt it's very very much so probably one of the better blitzes in the game okay so now let's move on to if they block um, let's say that they block a running back this is where I really like to man up the running back so if I man up this running back here it'll suck him inside and he typically won't pick the pressure up now obviously he didn't right there because he went on a route but if I block this running back even if I max protect and block the running back um, it's still going to be a pretty good uh, proposition for my defense. So again, we're just kind of adjusting here, but we're going to man up this running back this time. And what you'll see, I don't know why, I thought I blocked him, but I guess I didn't. But anyways, um, you see the, the blitz is coming in. And then, um, let me see if I can show you. I don't know why it's not working. I'll max protect. Uh, let's see if I can max protect. There we go. All right. So there's the max protect. So now they're max protecting because, um, you know, they don't know what else to do to stop the blitz. Well, again, when you man up this running back, the running back is basically useless because it's a linebacker in the gap. So he's going to step up and basically block nobody. Um, that time he did actually pick the safety up, but most of the time that safety will come, um, most of the time that safety will come completely free. Again, we're just moving him just a step. And the only reason we do that is to just kind of help with the linebacker. We want the linebacker on the left side to stay in the gap. And it's just been my experience of if you show blitz, no matter what you do, eventually he'll come out of the gap. But there you see, see how the running back just steps up and blocks nobody, and the pressure comes in right off the edge. Now the really cool part about this blitz that I haven't shared up to this point um, is that you can actually drop a lot of people into coverage. So um, what, what we can do on this backside here is we could drop, Let's say we were running the cover two. Um, I don't want to show that, but look, like you can just drop these guys in zones. So we can bluff blitz this guy. We can vert hook this guy, and then we're using this guy, and then we've basically man locked on the back side of this. And then all we have to do really is cover any kind of crossing route or anything like that. And you'll see here. I mean, it just becomes pretty hard to move on this. Okay, so that's a way that you can kind of build around it. Now let's say. Let's say you want to do this from another play. Again, all you do is show blitz, and then you're just going to move this guy. You're going to audible to the play that you want, press, and then blitz this guy off the edge. So we audible to match. So what we're going to do is we're going to man lock the backside, and we're going to play match on the play side. And then we can actually drop this backside guy into a three rec, as you can see, so that we can blitz our user. And now what you're going to notice here is we're going to play ridiculously good coverage. Okay, so that's a way that you can kind of use other other things. Um, I'll give you another example. So let's say we're here, um, we show blitz, we wiggle this guy just a little bit, and then we auto to this. Well, now we're in cover one linebacker blitz press. What I would recommend doing is blitzing that guy off the edge and then kind of fixing your coverage a little bit because um, you would need to you will need to fix it. So you're going to go man coverage here. You're going to go man coverage on the tight end, and then you're going to use it right in here. Right, and then the coverage is basically intact, and you're going to see great pressure and be able to kind of adapt it. So it's just one blitz of this. There's a lot more to come, but if you want to get all of it, like I said, join the Patreon, and you'll be able to learn everything for super cheap. Ten dollars a month gets you access to everything. So um, if you want to join it, there's a link in the description below where you can sign up for it. And, and again, you can cancel whenever you want. So. It's not like a lifetime lifetime commitment. It's a month-to-month -month deal. But as long as you 
uh, subscribe to the Patreon. You'll get all the new ebooks, all the new blitzes, all the new concepts, which we've got. We're working right now on a couple of new, uh, new defensive guides for you as well. So, anyways, thanks for watching. If you want to join the Patreon, there's a link in the description. So head on down there and click that link and check it out.